And we welcome you into the Shakopee Ice Arena here in Shakopee, Minnesota. We're set for a great boys high school hockey matchup in the south suburbs as 12th ranked Lakeville South travels to Shakopee to take on the 15th ranked Sabres in a premier matchup in boys high school hockey. To Up to Jacob Lee who has started to get some ice time as a second liner out there with Pedersen and Siegert for Shakopee. There's Siegert with a nice pass slipped along to Pedersen who slings it with a wrister and that's secured by Jack Postsprung. He's got six this year. This is Pritchard who leads the team in overall points taking it down low back up to Willis working off the point. Willis throws it across sounded like it caught a little bit of the pipe more off the side of the net on a shot from a tough angle and the play is whistled dead for South and the Cougars are a team who very much expect to uh, get back to state for what for them would be the fifth straight year in a row. Talking with Josh Storm before the game, that might be a big win as Patterson scoots it in from the point and scores for Lakeville South. I think it was clean in on the rip from the point. Ryder Patterson, the senior, picks up his third goal this season. 11.45 left to go in the first, and it's one nothing Cougars. It's become a bit of a rivalry, gotten a little chippy the last couple of years, and starting to see some early signs of that flaring up in the first period. Seven and a half minutes left to go. Here is Pritchard, walks into the circle and scores. It's 2 nothing Lakeville South. Tate Pritchard with his 16th of the season. He's second on the team in goals. Leads the club now with 35. Pritchard makes it 2 0 Cougars with 7.33 left to go. Off, and now the sophomore picks it up and leads the rush for Shakopee. Simpson with Tower to his left. Slips it to Toward. Toward crashing into the net. They're going to call a hold. There was a thought of maybe a penalty shot coming, but the ref immediately making the decision. It's going to be a power play for the Sabres out of the Sabre bench. They go D to D. Colchin to Steinhoff. 14 seconds left to go as the freshman races it up the left wing, and he's bodied off the puck by Pritchard. Up ahead to Aiden Willis now for South. Willis lines up a shot and scores with four seconds left to go in the period. A big one for South to go up 3 0. That power play opportunity for the Sabres. A good look for Simpson, who's got a really quick trigger shot. Couldn't pull it off that time. Simpson to fire it through some traffic. Good screener in front by Linus Tower. And Vogel just reached 40 points on the season again. His season total from last year, number six. He's got now over 100 points in his Sabre career. Here's Vogel. Fires in, in and out of the glove of Hosprung. Great stretch save. He couldn't quite snag it with the trapper. Here's Pritchard who was just staring down the Shakopee netminder, wheeling back into the offensive zone. Leaves it Willis. Willis tries to go top shelf. Strong save from Pearson who could track it all the way without really much traffic in front. Nine minutes left to go now in the second. And it is still 3-0 Lakeville South. Their goals in the first period, including the third with four seconds left. The Lamplighters from Patterson, Pritchard, and Willis in that opening frame. Simpson to Vogel, who goes bar down and scores to get one back for Shakopee. It's 3-1. What a shot. A snapshot from Jackson Vogel came off the stick like a bolt of lightning. A bar down beauty to get the Sabres on the board. They beat Hosprung and are back within two. 3.45 left to go. Glad to get... Join us here in a Saturday afternoon from the Shakopee Ice Arena. Here's Willis, short-handed to Doms, who lays it off to score, and Lakeville South with a short-handed goal. Stretches the lead back out to three. It's four to one. The Sabre power play now. Pedersen out to the blue line where it's with Steinhoff to Siegert. Siegert tries to peer right away in the half wall. Back to Steinhoff. Fires a shot. Rebound. Score. Nate Pedersen taps it in and it's 4-2. It's on the stick of Lafferty now to Jackson Ernst. He's able to wheel away from Haug. 
evade the poke check of Simpson. Get it in where Turcotte intercepts. Doc Tour tries to play it out off the boards. Doc Tour nearly led Cooper Simpson on a play, and Osprung has to come out and battle that aside. Back out to neutral ice. Simpson will pick it up again, seemingly trying to take this game over himself. Simpson inside, and he does. Lights the lamp for Shakovy to bring it back to a one-goal game. <laughs> right on cue. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. The 29th of the season, and it just felt like Simpson kept trying to pick that puck up in the neutral zone, walk it in himself, and make something happen. And after a couple of tries, he does. And it's a 4-3 game. Now with 9.25 left to go. Center it to Toward. You know that the Sabres were up for it, and Lakeville South, who just recently played a big game on Thursday, won an overtime in St. Paul to beat 10th-ranked CDH. They knew the Sabres were going to give them a big battle. The second go-around, Vogel throws it in and a feed from Simpson, and we're back even. It's 4-4. What a play, and a one-timer by Jackson Vogel. Looked like Ovechkin out there. An unbelievable feed, Jackson Vogel with his second goal of the afternoon. Shakopee answers back to tie it up at four with a minute 27 left to go. Intercepted by Simpson and cleared, but not all the way. Doms nearly set that up for a teammate beautifully from behind the goal. Conkle fires in a shot from the point and scores for Lakeville South. Colton Kunkel, the junior with a rip from the blue line, and South are back in command. It's 5-4. to four. And Willis winning this time against Toward. South swinging it around the boards, laying out to try to block it was Colchin. Richard's going to tap it into the open net, and that will do it for Lakeville South as they take a two-goal lead on the empty netter and lead it 6-4 to four now on the Violent Wild scoreboard. Pritchard with the empty netter. That is going to seal the deal with 5.6 seconds left to play. But what a game we just took in here at the Shock of the Ice Arena. Yes, and after they went to overtime with Creighton Durham Hall on Thursday, they will this time finish it off in regulation for their second ranked win in a row. Lakeville South go to 14-5-1, and 9-1 as they sit atop the South Suburban Conference standings. Shakopee dropped to 13-6. and 6.